Pranam to everyone. There are two stories of little animals in the Ramayana and Mahabharata and they have been inspiring us for thousands of years. In one of the discourses a disciple asked His Holiness Samarth Guru, how big should a charity be? Samarth Guru ji answered by narrating these two stories which I am going to tell you today. The first one is from Ramayana which is Samarth Guru ji's favorite as he is an ardent devotee of Lord Rama. So, are you ready with your headphones? Wonderful. Here we go. The first story is Be like the humble squirrel. The monkeys removed whole hills, placed them in the sea and covered them with stones and trees, thus making a huge embankment. A little squirrel, so it is said, was there rolling himself in the sand and running backwards and forwards onto the bridge and shaking himself. Thus, in his small way, he was working for the bridge of Rama by putting in sand. The monkeys laughed, for they were bringing whole mountains, whole forests and huge loads of sand for the bridge. So they laughed at the little squirrel rolling in the sand and then shaking himself. But Rama saw it and remarked, Blessed be the little squirrel. He is doing his work to the best of his ability and he is therefore quite as great as the greatest of you. Then he gently stroked the squirrel on the back and the marks of Rama's fingers running lengthways are seen on the squirrel's back to this day. Now, the squirrel knows that the effort of building a bridge across the ocean is an effort that is on a gigantic scale. It also knows that compared to that, its own contribution is very small. But it did not remain idle, assuming that its contribution would not be of much significance. It wanted to contribute to the work with all its might. This is what we have to learn. Working like that squirrel, according to one's own capacity, is the way to build a complete personality. Be ready to shoulder responsibility. What does the story teach us? It teaches us some important virtues. Like, little drops of water make the mighty ocean. No work is too small. Learn to appreciate sincere work even if it comes from the lowest ranks. Also, ignore other people's discouraging remarks and carry on with your job. Quality of work is more valued than the quantity of work. And now for the next story. It's about the golden squirrel and it is from the Mahabharata. Yudhishthir was the eldest son of Kunti. His other name was Dharmaputra. He was famous for charity. Yudhishthir was very religious and generous. He gave ample money in charity and it is said that no one ever returned empty-handed seeing him. One day, Yudhishthir organized a grand feast for the poor and starving. 10,000 people were fed in the event. After the feast was over, Lord Krishna and Dharmaputra saw a beautiful little squirrel rolling into the water which was used by the people for washing their hands. They were surprised. Lord Krishna bent towards the squirrel and asked, What are you doing here, little squirrel? Why are you rolling in this discarded water? The little squirrel stood up and bowed respectfully before Krishna and Yudhishthira. It replied, O oh great Krishna, my back is half black and half golden. I was rolling in this water so that my entire back becomes golden. Krishna was all the more surprised now. He asked the squirrel, How can this water turn you back golden? The squirrel narrated, Krishna, I live in the vicinity of a tree near the hut of a poor Brahmin. The place is not far from here. The Brahmin is very hard working, but he earns only to make the ends meet. Every day, the little that he earns is divided into three parts one for himself and the other two for his wife and son. One day before they began their meal, a poor starving man visited them. He asked for food 
saying that he was quite hungry. So the family divided the food into four parts and gave one portion to the man. However, the man was too hungry and asked for more. So the Brahmin gave him his share of food. But the man's hunger did not die. So the Brahmin's wife offered him her share of food now. The man asked for more food. So the Brahmin's son, who was a very young boy, followed his parents and generously offered the man his share of food. After this, the man washed his hands. Some parts of the water fell on my back and gave it the beautiful golden sheen. I have heard a lot about Dharmaputra, who lives by religious virtues. He is famous far and wide for his generosity. So I came here, thinking that his charity can help me turn my entire back golden. But it won't just happen. Saying this, the squirrel ran away. Lord Krishna turned to Dharmaputra and said, Brother, do you understand the message the little squirrel has left? Yudhishthir was perplexed. He said, Krishna, enlighten me. Krishna turned to him and said, Today was a grand day. You once again substantiated that you are virtuous and generous. But you gave because you have, while the Brahmin gave even when he did not have. This is the difference in your respective charities. You are humble as you are giving only because you have. Therefore, the water from your charity was unable to lend the golden luster to the squirrel's back. Dharmaputra was humbled. He bowed before Krishna and asked for forgiveness. From these stories, Samarth Guruji taught us never to feel small and useless. Everyone is capable. No gesture or help offered is small or big. Simple gestures with pure emotions receive God's blessings. Whatever our condition is, never hesitate to extend a helping hand to the needy. We must not bind ourselves to limits and tag ourselves and others with labels. Friends, learn to explore your inner potential with Samarthi Yoga. It is a way to live a happy, purposeful, contented life. Ram Samarthi Yoga Peet Trust is a not-for-profit organization and is helping the society by offering selfless service with limited resources. We will appreciate if you will join us in doing charity work. For details, visit our website and WhatsApp us on the numbers flashing on your screen. Watch out for more inspiring stories from our channel. To support our mission, click on the like, share, subscribe icons. To get notifications of our videos, click on the bell icon. Wishing you all a healthy, happy life. Jai Shri Ram.